But I know the important question, how much room is there in this 2018 Discovery when you drive down the road? We'll try to do this a little faster. You can get to the galley area very easily. Dinette area, you can sit in the dinette area. The tabletop does move very easily to get past it. So that's good. The problem starts arising at the freezer here. You can almost get to it. Refrigerator, uh, you have to walk past here to get back to there or go back to here. And you're still kind of like leaning through because of the sofa right here. Uh, I can get through if I turn my body, but I am hugging the refrigerator. Another small aisle at the sofa there, but we could sit in the sofa and watch TV if we want to. Once we make our way past here, and I am kind of stepping on the carpet so that will get some wear on it, I can get to the mid-coach bath uh, pretty easily for me. You turn your body, it's a little bit easier. So you can get to this toilet and the vanity here, okay but that is pretty tight. Now getting back to the bed, not a big deal, but of course the bed has to be up for the slide out room to be closed. So you can't really lay in bed driving down the road and you will have to hop over the bed to get to the rear bathroom, but you can lay in bed as a sofa and watch TV, I guess. So that's why it's very important to check an RV floor plan with the slide out rooms in before you head down the road and buy one, because it may not work for your needs if you have uh, people that are gonna be passengers back here even though the floor plan will work out perfectly otherwise with the slide out rooms out. 